Welcome everybody to this short movie where I demonstrate how this low speed alternator that I built for my wind turbine comes apart. Um, just to show you, this is what the root of one of the wind turbine blades looks like. The, the machine in total has three blades. Um, these blades simply just screw onto the front face of the machine like this. Then, also note, I've taken most of the screws and nuts out now, just that this can come apart rather fast. The reason why it's not all falling apart is because actually with the magnets in the two discs, they attract each other and, and so it's sort of holding it more or less together. Firstly, what I'd like you to notice, if I spin this, it spins very freely. There's almost no friction. In fact, the only friction that's there is the, the bearings. The bearings that are used are tapered roller bearings, two of them, they look like this. They've got a 15 millimeter inside diameter, 42 millimeter outside diameter. We'll take the front disc off. Um, you can see the front disc, the blue part is steel and the white part is nylon. That comes off like that. Within the nylon part, um, there are eight magnets with alternating polarity. The magnets look like this. They are round, pretty powerful. And the disc here, the nylon disc, is held onto the steel with screws. Then in the front here, we can see one of the tapered roller bearings. We'll take the uh, stator off now, like this. The stator consists um, basically out of fiberglass that's been cast, and then within this fiberglass casting, there are in total six coils of copper wire that look like this. Um, they've got 340 turns of, I think, 0.55 millimeter diameter copper wire. The rear disc, similar as the front one, um, the green part is made out of steel, the white part again out of nylon, and again we've got eight magnets with alternating polarity. Additionally, the rear disc has some slots cut into it. The reason for that is so that those slots act like a radial fan. When the machine turns, then it flings out air out of the back. Because it now sort of creates a bit of a vacuum in the back, it draws in air from the front and it sets up this flow of air, gentle flow of air around the stator, which helps to keep it cool. So basically, what we have here is two sets of, of magnets, and they're attracting each other, so it's a bit tricky. Two sets of magnets, um, always north and south opposing each other. So north, south, north, south. And then in between these two discs, we've got the six copper coils like that. And when this now turns, then it sets up this, this alternating current. Obviously, the machine sits on top of the wind turbine tower and then the tail vane uh, causes the machine to face into the wind. So the faster it turns, the greater uh, the current that it charges the battery with. Thank you for watching.